and I'm gonna today I'm gonna show you I'm gonna work on my um, layout for my monthly spread for October I found these really um, cool um, it's page covers and um, I found them at um, I thought I had the yeah it's from myplannerenvy.com by Jessica Brown and she has these layouts and it fits perfectly for the happy planner she does them for Erin Condren happy planner and the large happy planner so I just wanted to show you real quick um, how to attach these papers and what it comes with and then I will show you the layout when it's done but you get the numbers um, and the best way I found out, I, I do hand cut everything. The best way I found to do these is go ahead and keep them in like big sections like this. Let me get one out. And like, I pre cut everything and put it in these little baggies. That way I can just work on it as I can. But just go ahead and peel your backing off and then cut it um, while it's sticky. And then you can just place it down. And you won't have to cut, you know, this individual one and, um, try and get the sticky off just that one but you get the number banners you get all these um, different stickers and it shows you um, some have like taco day candy corn day so yeah I'm not gonna pull them all out but see there's one and I did leave the dates on that way I remembered where to put them because she see there's fall break that you can use I guess I'm gonna dump them out <laughs> you get a little black cat See, this one is National Chocolate Day, but I did leave the date on there that I remembered where to put it, but I will cut the date off. Um, you got National Taco Day, World Smile Day, and then you just got Columbus Day, a ghost, pumpkin patch, candy corn day, a little bat, and then the word Halloween. And then you get all these little stickers, and I did just, you know, like, fussy cut them out. You get some little banners that you can use in it. And then you get uh, small icon stickers, so you can mark your, I like to mark, you know, my month. And you do get the large sticker here to put up here. So, let me show you real quick. Um, I used the Avery full size 8.5 by 11 shipping um, labels to print mine out with. So, um, yeah. So, what I like to do is I start at the bottom after I've cut it out and I just peel a section off I don't peel the whole part off because it helps me get it lined up so just peel a little bit of this back and fold it let me get that one out of here so then I just line this bottom up the best that I can and once you get that bottom lined up it's I was so worried about, if my head's in the way, I'm sorry, I just thought about that, but I was so worried it would not cover it up, so get that bottom section down, and you're just going to go section by section, don't pull, again, don't pull, you can lift this up, see, and then you can peel this up as you go. And as long as you lined it up, you know, good at the bottom it'll come right off and it'll fill that whole thing up so I do have another section and that's what I love about this even if it don't come if, even if the sticker paper you use doesn't come in sections like this you can still just lift part of it up and fold it down okay so that's all there is to do to attach it and so it covers you get your layout and I absolutely love this so I know what I'm going to be doing every month now. I'm going to her website to get these. And I will post her link down in the description. And like I said, I will get this all laid out. And um, I'll come back and show you the final result. Okay, so sitting here adding these banners. And I was like my date banners. And I was like, ooh, they may have not understood quite what I was saying. And I wanted to show you a little trick on getting these on and lined up easy. So sometimes I will get stickers that don't have like we're in the easy peel part so what you can do and this is what I meant keep this together do not get you can either use your nail to separate it 
or you can take an exacto knife hold it there at the corner and push it down in there and that's going to get that backing off so I just peel that all the way off and this is what I was meaning keep it together like this and then you can go right along that line and cut that banner off and keep this attached to your finger and you just keep cutting and then grab you some tweezers and since it's sticky it'll stay and then that will help you since these are so small that will help you line your line your numbers up really good and see you can just keep on cutting some of you may not like this if you have a scan and cut or something that will cut these out for you great wonderful <laughs> I am not fortunate enough to have that yet soon no soon especially since I've gotten into this whole planner kick I have fun doing it I like it and I've seemed to use my planner a lot more okay so I have all my banner dates put on so but I wanted to show you the last two days the 30th and the 31st they have to split these two days um so all I did was take a fine tip sharpie and my ruler and just draw a line so um I'm gonna put the word Halloween so I was gonna put this this one in there but um I'm not I'll probably stick that over here but this will fit nicely right in there to mark Halloween. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get everything else put on here. And I will come back and um, show you the final. Layout. Okay, so I have this filled out for the most part. I hope you can see it. Here's this page. So, my daughter's birthday is the 13th we're gonna have a party on the 15th we'll be actually going home that weekend instead of work this is when my kids' fall break is so they have these no school little pencils and I added all the little like national chocolate day world smile day and then here is the completed other one and of course I'll add to this throughout the month anyway put it on there <laughs> And that's the one good thing about these is you can cut these little banners down since I had to split this one I had to cut this one down but the little banners they don't have an end on it so you can cut these down to whatever size you need um, so I just put some of my kids at school stuff in here National Taco Day National Candy Corn Day so yeah I put my little witch up here the little black cat I use I put those just some of the extra stickers in the blank spot so yeah, um, go check out her website. Um, I will be using this on a monthly basis now. I really like them. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And um, again, her link will be down in the description. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!